Emma Shearer has stepped down from his position as Twitch CEO, and I'm not going to lie to you, I have no idea what he's done for the platform, whether good or bad. I, I have no clue. But before we get too far into the video, I want to take a second say thank you. On all the love to the recent video that I had, it blew up. 6K is a, is a big number to me, bro. Huge number. Thanks and welcome to all the new subs and anybody that clicked on the video to the time of the day clicked on the video. Really means a lot to me. Hope I can keep you guys entertained, informed, and I hope you guys enjoy. On to the video. Now, this is usually part of the video where I say something along the lines of if you've been under a rock and don't know whoever it is and then just like break down his Lori's backstory. But I've been streaming on Twitch for three plus years and I have no clue who this guy is. This guy is quite literally the lowest CEO of all time. Like I did not know he existed until like a month back when I made that YouTube CEO video. But apparently he's been the CEO of Twitch for 16 years, which is about the lifespan of Twitch. So he's pretty much the co-founder of the site. And when I say this nigga is low, he is ominous as fuck. <laughs> he like, that man is mysterious. Even looking at this man's bio, the only remnant of the site itself is just this little small tag that says working on Twitch. I work in the software development field and I cannot tell you how many times I've seen someone at the base, like smallest, lowest level put more emphasis on working at a company than this man. He barely tweets about Twitch itself. And matter of fact, his second to most recent Twitter thread is some third eye opening think piece about how words have no meaning. It's one of the most confusing threads I've ever read. Like what what are you what what are you talking about? <laughs> what what does this mean? Now he announced his surprise via Twitch blog post, pretty much cataloging his journey as a whole and discussing that he wants to focus on his own family and take more of an advisory role stepping forward, just kind of stepping out the spotlight. Bro also posted this announcement via Twitter and it just really goes to show you what is wrong with the platform. He turned off reply to the resignation tweet. <laughs> Like Twitch's main problem is the disconnect between the staff, streamer, and community. And this entire thread just feels like satire on that whole sentiment. And in said thread slash blog post, Emmett goes to tell who's going to be the new CEO of Twitch. And if you think that this guy is any better than Emmett, hold your horses. Like this. <laughs> Oh man, this site's doomed. Meet the new CEO of Twitch, Dan Clancy. And Dan is not new to this. He is true to this Twitch shit. This situation is so funny because like I'm having a that's so raven just like flash forward of seeing how this platform can possibly get burned to the ground. Dan was the president slash product lead of Twitch since 2019. He is 20 years older than Emmett and has very minimal social media presence like anywhere. Like looking at his alleged Twitter follow to follower ratio, there's a pretty decent chance chance that I could get a follow back <laughs> and you could too. Uh, also, by the way, you should totally follow me on Twitter. Um, I post funny stuff sometimes and I like tweet about my videos and just give my opinion on stuff, which is pretty much what these videos are. So follow me. Thanks. But anyway, having a minimal social media presence isn't a bad thing by any means. I even try to do it, but being a small content creator, it's, it's a fine thread that you got to balance. But if you are a social media CEO, and your only way to communicate with the community is via Twitter. I don't know, bro. Having a Twitter where people don't have to guess that it's yours seems a little bit important. I don't know. I'm, I'm no CEO, but hey, man, listen, you don't got to listen to me. Fuck it. It's your life. It's your company. Now, other than the whole social media thing, Clancy also previously announced the changes coming to both the 50-50 sub split as well as the ad revenue share model for Twitch partners. And once again, this really just goes to show you how out of check Twitch is with their community. Like you go into Twitch and you're just as with three plus minutes of ads frame one as soon as you click on the stream. Like I get that ads are pretty much the main source of revenue for Twitch or any streaming platform, but you can at least try to appease the community that built your platform before you ignore the ad complaint. Ads are quite literally one of the biggest reasons why people at the low to mid level of the streamer hierarchy can't get new viewers. Like who wants to sit through four to five minutes of ads? just to see if you're going to like a small streamer or not. It's not gonna happen. And they're even trying to roll out the ad incentives to affiliates now. And these are just pitiful. And don't even get me started about the 50-50 sub split. That is quite literally the lowest sub split out of any streaming platform. YouTube only takes 30%. Kick takes a measly 5%. And hell, even DLive is only taking 25%. I had to look that up because I, I who the hell streams on DLive? <laughs> like I get that the site needs to stay alive, but trying to swindle your top creators out of 20% with no contract, the only thing you have over them is the name of your platform. It's really only a matter of time until YouTube gets in their bag or kick figures that shit out. That's if the site stays alive, but realistically, it's only a matter of time until Twitch is dethroned as the top streaming platform and they just have no pull over anybody. And not gonna lie, I have very limited faith with Twitch as a platform if it keeps this disconnect up. I kind of feel bad for all the new streamers hopping 
talking on the platform thinking that shit's going to be sweet and the platform actually cares about them because it doesn't like it, let's be honest it really doesn't even when members of the community try to give twitch free game on how to cook their platform and just make it better they just say fuck you no like <laughs> it's so bad oh my god like dj we one of the co-founders of twitch responded to somebody asking to make a tiktok style algorithm for clips similarly to what kick is trying to do with their clipping system he essentially said lol no clips are cool but this is a long form content platform no one comes here for clips only streams listen here dj Wheat. why are clips so sought out for then why are there entire subreddits of people farming clips why are you pushing an entire feature to format clips into tiktok format i don't get it clips bring more people to the site than you do like goddamn, i get that a lot of clips are actually nothing but if you're implementing like an auto scroll feature on clips it's not that hard to put a checkbox on clips that you want to be in the algorithm and not in the algorithm like if you're taking that mild trip putting an extra inch on top of that is not going to do anything for you but no here's a formatter to put your clips on another platform oh you we can get ad revenue off of these clips oh no that would only put money on our pockets oh no we can't do that we're just too lazy to implement that feature on our own platform Sorry, bucko, we can't do it. Twitch fucking sucks. <laughs> Twitch, th th this site's going down the drain. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I had in the situation. Sorry about that rant towards the end. Twitch is pretty much going down the shitter. Like the vid if you agree. Uh, comment how you feel about this situation. And I know I shit on the platform this entire vid, but I stream over there whenever I'm bored. So you should follow me over there and subscribe here because you made it this far in the video and you clearly like me. And with that being said, I'm out of here. Peace, peace.